Behind empty promises, masquerading dedicated development, and a focus on content to keep the game fresh, this is the deserved downfall of the finals. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm on a mission to get this little menace named Maple a big backyard, so subscribe. On December 7th, 2023, a game from Embark Studios released a game titled The Finals. It took the FPS scene by storm with its dazzling gameplay, destructible world, and its promising future. With two closed betas and an open beta with update after update after update, the future was looking bright for Embark Studios. With more and more people hearing about the game through word of mouth and content creators, it had a fantastic start. The release had over 200,000 people playing on Steam alone. A pretty healthy amount of people and the praise for the game and the team behind it didn't stop. Positive videos and comments kept rolling in, and a few days after launch, the game had reached almost 250,000 concurrent players. But behind all this praise, positivity, and hope, there was empty promises, focus on cosmetics versus content, and slow development of the game. Shortly after the game's 250,000 peak players, the game started to have a declining player base, losing about 10,000 players per week, and it's been pretty steady as you can see here. But all of this is deserved. During the open betas, people had many high hopes for the game, especially within a competitive sense. I mean, how could you not? The game is based around a sport itself in a simulated environment, and with the introduction of AI casters into the mix, it was already preparing itself to be an esport. Many people will say the game was never looked at to be an esport, but you don't put a recipe for cheesecake together and end up with brownies. Developers knew what they were doing, and the idea of having an esport with this game would have been huge. I know I would have enjoyed watching it myself. But they failed to deliver on one crucial thing they needed for the game to really take shape as a serious contender for the next major esport title. Customs. The competitive Andes were asking the devs for customs during the betas and were told it would come with the launch of the game. However, they said it's coming in the future but unsure of when. Hey, post editing Alex here, found out my source was wrong and they promised customs but not at launch, sorry about that. Now back to the video. And the community is constantly calling out for it, but they haven't updated them on anything with it. The hope for them listening to the community was high since they were updating the game during early access frequently. But when the game launched, the promises made started to feel empty. Maybe the devs needed to take a little more time to figure things out, but I don't think so. Now I want to state that this is speculation, but I think they failed to deliver on updating the core gameplay because they saw how popular the game was and wanted to capitalize on the player count with cosmetics and focus more on that. I understand it's two different departments that focus on those things, but why would they not add what the community is calling out for? Why would they fail to listen to their community or outright ignore them and not give them an update at all? The lack of customs for those that could have made the game bigger plus a stale meta that the devs refused to change, and you know what I'm talking about, especially with the heavy class. coupled with the insta res, double heal, and everything overpowering the light class, making the only viable option for them to use is the stun gun, only for them to lose a gunfight because the hit fire is far too accurate, and all light guns being pea shooters when used against anything other than a light. The meta for the game was getting stale, and the player numbers reflected this. And with their failure to update the game, shift the meta, and introduce customs, they let down players who were looking for something new. For example, Apex players looking for a new home in the light class only to get outdone by some aim assisted Andy on Heavy who takes on the entire lobby. Between the Heavies running around destroying entire teams by throwing a barrel and pressing a button, Mediums dog walking the Heavy and insta resing if they die, and the complete lack of a genuine rank system, the hope for the game started to decline especially with a lack of communication from the devs, timely updates, and balance changes. People started to see how empty the promises made by Embark were, and the game started to die, rapidly. The finals could have been something great. The potential, the hype, the promises were all there, only to be left on life support and the 30 to 40k daily players that remain on the servers. Luckily, Embark can turn it around, but they'll need to do some massive changes to the meta, bring in customs, and start supporting a competitive scene if it hopes to thrive. And I hope they do, because this game could be something truly special. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex, and if you made it this far, leave a like or a dislike and let me know what you liked or didn't in the comments down below. Also, subscribe for Maple. Peace. Genuinely, I could not care less about getting um, ranked up. I mean, you have so much time anyways. Me? I have more than you, and I still make more money, pussy. Ew, fuck you. Huh? I'm talking about the rank in game. What's happening? Oh, oh, my fault. What my fault, the my fuck? Fault. <laughs> I thought you were calling me a loser. I'm clipping that. I thought you were calling me a loser.